Hey guys, Tatrap here bringing you a tour today. We are on Campbell's Convoy. Thanks for spawning on the left. We've got OO with Africa Core. That's it currently on the battle group. Bebo Tots with Wehrmacht looking to mechanize there. On the right hand side, we've got Ted Seaman Silk with US Forces going for Armored. And Thomas Smooth also with US Forces going for Airborne. Seen these two uh, team arranged team before. I think one of them is around rank forty something. The other's around seventy. On the uh, Axis side, I've got it actually on the side here. Let's have a look. I forgot. Ubertot is forty-seven, and OO is eighteen. Not sure who OO is, like maybe a Smurf account? Polish flag uh, associated with it. Already got games with Africa Core basically. Very few with any other faction. Okay, we got a bit of capping going on. Four by four down here. Some pathfinders and a second four by four coming in. This has been quite a popular option in one v ones, mainly against Wehrmacht, though, not against Africa Corps. Since Africa Corps, you know, can get the two fifties quite early, which do quite well against the four by fours and Panzerjägers. Probably should be going hunting for this Kessin that's up in the north, but Allies determined to make it work down the bottom here. The machine gun coming in now for Thomas Smooth. He's actually gone for a bazooka squad, so he's gone for weapon support center. Double pathfinders, double machine gun, weapon support center. I tried a lot of these builds myself. Find some damn cover. Uh, usually not that good. <laughs> I think it's just because the machine guns just a little bit weakness patch. It used to be okay before the uh, last uh, round of machine gun nerfs. Still almost viable though. Yeah, access completely uncontested control in the north. Four by four is backing up for some repairs here. Curing up a bunch of sandbags is oh. oh. That's us, boys. Get ready. Eventually ready suppresses, but when they're already at max range there, not ideal. Duke is coming in, doesn't quite get a shot off. It's just too fast getting away there. He's coming in here with the kitten now. Oh, gets a grenade off. Really solid damage as well. Gonna survive though. Close call for Thomas. Dropping some paras. Pretty close to the machine gun though. They could probably just push forwards a tiny bit and suppress, but no. Double 4 by 4 is coming in from the other side. Machine gun has to get out of there. No troopers getting back. Into cover. He's running a bit close there. Now he could do with some 4x4s coming down to assist. He 
tear gun for Bebop Tot. So we're going for Panzer Grenadier Company. Dump some Panzer Greens as well. Definitely the less popular option. This patch can be to look off for company, but there's quite a lot of open ground through the middle of this map. Hey, T guns Research still quite good. Okay, decent damage there. Here come the double four by fours. No focused on going after the crowd though. Just going for a bit of extra bleed on them. T gun sitting up here. And misses first shot though. There's plenty of time for Ted to get out of there. Enemy forces have secured all victory points. Scout's gotta be careful. We'll die very quickly. What was that retreat path as well? Treated back Territory through this direction. That's very strange. Taking hits. No weapon upgrade yet on those. Okay. The bars coming in for Ted next. And mortar out the back here as well. T gun pushing up. Right from getting into heavy cover right in front of the machine gun though, they might be able to decrew it there. Yep. Especially once the bars pop. Mine, but it only drops one model, unfortunate for Ted. Pathfinder providing some nice long range vision here. People are not paying attention and loses a Pio. Okay, here comes. Call and half track from OO. Put the Panzergreen inside. It has gone for the six man upgrade as well. We fight that too effectively. Looks like uh, it was an LEIG calling. And that's blasting away out the back. Three six man pigrins for so far. Another bazooka for Thomas Smooth. So far, very few light vehicles from the Axis. So. Don't really need the bazookas that much. We've lost control of the sector. Sometimes we go and work with support centers as well. I feel like it's better to go for the 75 million three the bazookas. Even with their buffs. Still not that good this patch. Still a bit too much bleed for what they do, you know? How fast vehicles can drive away from them this patch. One out of four bazookas connecting there. Mine up in the north. Not a bad idea. Could maybe catch the kitten. Everything's charging into close range. Roger that. We won't reinforce without your oh, this squad goes right the way past here. Throws a grenade. Still got a pretty good connection. Good AOE on those... Bundle grenades. There's another one. Okay. <laughs> Bit of carnage up here in the north. This 4x4 is still a nuisance. Merging into the P greens. It's nicely done by P Botot. Double bar on the rifleman as well. These AT guns just cannot land a shot on these 4x4s. Miss after miss. Enemy movement near victory Gets away point. with it. Out. Closing in. Probably sub 50% chance to uh, land a shot there. I'm not exactly sure what the tag size of 4x4. Maybe it's 9? Either way, the bazookas finally get some damage done there. They knock out. Yeah, 250. Now he's V1. He pops in a phosphorus rocket. 
Big damage on the pea greens. So you have a mid truck coming up here? No. Just gonna retreat them now. The IG getting some solid hits down low. They have the tactical advantage. We must make a stand. Okay. Tick up for Bebo Tot, so uh, maybe we're going to see some tanks coming in here in the not too distant future from the Axis. They're both ticked all the way up. Pioneers are reporting for duty. Oh, wow. Victory Point points for are Scott. in our favor, Commander. Okay, I did do, uh, I did do a stream the other day playing with Scott a lot. I think he's a little bit weak at this stage. He's kind of better off going for the Greyhound. It looks like he's... Good for that. Maybe a friendly fire there. I think the Scott, you know, compared to how strong mortars are right now, it's just less appealing. And of course, you know, it doesn't get armored skirts upgrade like the Greyhound does, so it's harder to keep alive. You get one phosphorus, just ain't what it used to be. So I've been underwhelmed using uh, the Scott personally, of enemy movement near our but point. We're his bunker buster barrage actually pretty good at knocking out bunkers. So if you're up against, uh, ooh, Italian coastal, it's actually point. okay. And there is a trick to it because you can activate the barrage. I think at 45 range, but then you can back away. And the barrage will just keep going to 80 range on the special barrages, not on the regular barrage, but on the special barrages. So you can do it from safe range away from AT guns or away from AT bunkers. You might take one shot starting the barrage up, but then you're away safely afterwards. Maybe I'll eventually add a micro tip on video about that. Kind of my to-do list to another micro tip series. Echo three. One of our sectors is now in enemy hands. Well, oh, this is a very late eight rod from Vivo Time. We've lost the territory sector. The victory point is under enemy control now. Tika missed his first shot though. If you are heavily invested into team weapons, you know, the Vet 1 on the 8 rod does buff them up pretty nicely, so maybe that's what Beaver Tuck's aiming for. A Sherman, the regular old Sherman from Thomas Smooth. Pops off a phosphorus shell there. Oh wow. He went for the mechanized support center. Three down here now from Thomas Smooth. He's got improvised armor already. Wow. He's doing a decent job chasing away the Panzer III. Mr. 4 by 4 going down. Up in the north against the machine gun, it looks like. Sherman uh, coming in here, hoping for the D crew. Oh, when he gets it. The IG maybe could drop some smoke out here, save this. Just going for a regular shot, the P3, where is it? Did the P3 die? No, couldn't find it, there it is. I was gonna say, I really hope I didn't miss that. Ooh, speaking of death though, P Green's looking for a white. Don't quite get it, wow, very close call for Ted.
Okay, T guns backing away here. That phosphorus go off somewhere. Doesn't look like it too much though. A bit of damage. Is that a rebuild on the crud Schutzen? Oh, that was a risky phosphorus. Nearly cost him a squad. Ooh. He gets a big hit in as well. Those are quite fragile. Oh, chasing down. Finds a para. And knocks it out. Nice follow-up there by Bebo. To good awareness, you know, coming down to his teammate's side and getting a couple of these wipes. That was huge. Still no uh, battle group, by the way, for OO. Oh, oh. Sherman out back getting repaired. Got a Panzer IV now for Bevo Top. It's a big old bar blob. Hoping for the green deer wipe. Man, they get it. Try to get away. Panzer IV. Bit of a chase down. Some okay hits. Looks like he's gone for the 76mm upgun now on the Sherman Thomas. T gun in some major trouble here. Gets decrewed. The phosphorus out the back, Mortar's also been decrewed. Big losses for Ted. Double AT guns push up. And they polish off the decrewed AT as well. I wonder if OO might just lock into armored support just to get the pin bonus on his Panzer III, help it fight back against this buffed up Sherman. He's going to steal away the mortar. Oh, that was not good from Thomas Smooth. And that LEIG just slamming home the damage. Here comes a walking Stuka now. She got survives it though. Another Sherman about to pop out for Thomas. Out of combat repair upgrade now on his Panzer III. He's also building a pack to help counter the Sherman. Flare up from Thomas. LT guns coming down for the Sherman. I think one of the problems with the 76 mm Sherman at the moment is. How good the bulldozer is by comparison, you know? It's really kind of uh, boxed the 76mm out of uh, relevance. Close call on the Greyhound for Ted. Maybe he's stalling for the easy 8. Not quite here yet, though. That's a capping, though. Very tight on the victory points at this stage. Very even match. Infantry reporting in. This just wears off there. They are hammering us. The enemy is winning. I think he's going for the easy eight. Nearly there. Lowered our victory points to 
Good work. He sharing the healing. Proximity alarm near our munitions point. Dropping some mine planting. Second AT gun picked up by O. Does mean maybe Italian infantry could also be a consideration. He wants the uh, prepared positions to buff up his team weapons. Oh, nice use of the uh, recon here. Sneaking around. Assault on the AT gun, decruise it. Scott's in some trouble. Oh, and it goes down too. Might have stuck around too long for the couple of bombing though. Trying to get that final bit of damage on the Scott. Ooh. Oh, that was a disaster for the Axis. Two AT guns and a stolen machine gun. Looking Stuka, meanwhile, not getting the results. Steals away enemy. both AT guns. That is a huge swing. Sweeper spot the mine up there. There's actually another one a little bit further along as well. How lucky the 8 rad hasn't hit one of these. Here are the easy 8s. I don't know what Oro was up to there. Looks like he forgot about it. This one goes down. Drop your LMG. See the tanks coming in. They might be able to hear them as well. There we go. Splitting the damage. Looks like they're focused on the AT gun first off. Sherman, no one shot, but again, decreased AT gun just in the nick of time. There's a force coming down to assist as well. Nice bit of teamwork there by Bebo Top. There's a four. Doesn't look like it's got the skirt yet. To cause it to struggle a little bit against the uh, Sherman. Sherman should probably try to use the phosphorus here. Might not have it on this Sherman. Yeah, there it is. That's going to allow both Sherman to escape. Well done. The enemy holds all victory points. Launch a counterattack at once. Right, get him out of there. The eyes are in control of the VPs right now. Looks like the uh, victory points are draining fast. They are the correct way around, which is always a relief. Oh, okay. All the AT guns are reinforced. People has got to be really careful. We Do we have a walking Stuka? No Nibelwerfer though. I have to invest in that next. If the Axis can set up a two on one, try to overwhelm these Shermans, they could do alright. And here is the easy eight finally for Ted. Or something? Or why isn't the Sherman firing? Must have been a slight plume of smoke. It really looked like it was blocking vision, though. Oh, big damage on the P Greens on their way into cover there. Got out of there fast enough, though. Good hits on the mortar. Here comes the walking Stuka. Real dodging. Rifleman down, AT gun decrewed as well. 
the phosphorus rocket out there from the bazooka boys. Oh, that Panzer IV did not know what it was getting itself into. All three AT guns just lining it up there, combined up with the double Sherman. That's what happens when you turn over all your AT guns. Got the uh, capping now. Being upgraded by, oh, looks like he did go for armored support and he called in a command tank. This is a bit of a strange option. Went for the machine gun upgrade as well. Hmm. Why? I mean, it's okay. It helps you out against infantry. But I think he needs the pin against the Sherman tanks with improvised armor upgrade. He's going to chase. Bounces again. Might have been a different story if he went for the pin bonus instead. We have surplus munitions to support the war effort. Orders. The out of combat order appears though, so easy to recover. Whereas, he has to manually repair Thomas. Okay, Panther now for Bebo Tot. At least that will have enough frontal armor to bounce those AT guns regularly. Grenade there. Got the uh, Greyhound's going to cover that point anyway. Can't get the triple cap. One order appears. Thomas maybe needs another engineer, honestly. Germans are winning this right now. Mine. Good thing that wasn't on Panther. The T guns are healthy again. They're coming back out. We have vehicles ready to be deployed. Did Thomas bring in the recon loiter? Oh, there we go. Triple AT. Oh, yeah, there we go. That Panther's armor holding up well. Doesn't have the best side armor though. It's got more armor than the Tiger on the front, but what, quite a lot less on the side. Gotta be careful about your positioning on it. Okay, rebuilding the kitten. Oh. Feeling bold because they've got the vision. Oh boy. Couple bombing out the back on the 8 rod. A T gun slow getting out of here. Probably gonna go down again. The water goes down the AT gun just on the outer edge. Took heavy damage, didn't die though. Triple AT guns pushing in that recon loiter providing a crazy amount of value, but it's timing out now. Planes flying away. They briefly lost vision on the 8 rod. Trying to go for some attack round, hopeful shots. Right, surviving though. Here comes the walking Stuka. But they're already out of there before the rockets land. Walking Stuka is just not very impressive. The enemy has taken a victory point. Uh oh. Ooh, close call for Thomas. Stu excuse me, have to respect those double AT guns. Healthy, all these tanks as well. They've got those health bonuses. Taking artillery on the machine gun. Allies in control of the top and middle. Have a Looking for the bottom as well, but why a lot of excess tanks down here? I don't think they're going to be able to cap this. Go a little bit isolated. Squad on top of the ruins. Nearly going down. So is the para. The Sherman is really isolated down here. Both the other tanks are out of action right now. Down to 75 points. Trying to hide in the corner. Double AT guns are down here as well. They've got to be very careful here, the analyzers. 
a dangerous spot to be right now. Double AT guns are down here. Oh boy, Panzer IV spinning around though, exposing his rear. Pop smoke. Okay, walking Stuka coming in. This could be nasty. Strong hit. Oh, really, really good hit. They finally come good. A Stuka dive bomb for good measure. But here come the easy eights. Going after the command tank first. Oh, there's an 88. Fresh 88 here from OO at just the right time. Oh, this could be disastrous. Pops off the phosphorus. The Panther's down here. It's healthy as well. The double AT guns of oh, oh, getting decrewed, but the ADA is still down here. I think it's getting blocked by the phosphorus, though. This is carnage. ADA just hanging in there. Doesn't quite get another shot through. All these. Vehicles still alive though for the Axis. Recruise the 88. Panther goes down though. Easy 8 gets the job done. The 88 is hidden hard here. Two Sherman about to go down to it. Comes back in from the side, but now this Sherman has other ideas. Might even go down. Yep, does. Sherman on probably zero health if I had to guess. Easy 8. He's polished off as well. Oh, that was carnage. Looked really good for the Allies early on, but the recrew on the 88 and it just managed to reinforce enough to continue to stay operational. Didn't have like carpet bombing to polish it off or anything. And that was that. Devastating losses for the allies we got. 2640 versus 6074. Huge leap for the Axis, but they don't have control of the VPs right now. Kitten going to the north. No mine up there to stop it. Should be able to get the neutralize off in time. The 88. Can towed around. Look how fast that truck is with all the speed bonuses. That's crazy. Defend our victory point. Neutralized. 17 points remaining for the Axis. They're making a play for the middle as well. Dive bomb. Didn't see if that hit anything. Didn't see any bodies. Still got a couple AT guns up for grabs down here. Could be decent for the Allies especially. Call in assault green. The enemy have taken territory from us. Whoa, wow, he pushed all the way up here with the LEIG. I wonder if that was a misclick. A good phosphorus right on top of the AT. Nice attack groundwork behind it. Greyhound having to get out of there. He's going for a chaffy next as well, that's interesting. Oh, yep, there's that Greyhound. Getting the wipe. Killing off the decrewed AT guns, that's interesting. Doesn't want them, eh? Jaffy, light tank oh, for. no, that's a US mine. He's going over here, decruise. Chaffee Greyhound combo wrapping around. It's P4 Panther here as well. Doesn't look good for the Allies. So two Chaffees. Uh, maybe wasn't aware of the Panther as well. It's 
the AT gun back up. He's two Greyhounds, two Chaffees, but both Chaffees needing some repairs now. Still plenty of VPs left for the Allies. Paris somehow surviving and a MG building unit going down there. Everything up to the north. ET gun pulled all the way back to base here. Maybe if he could bait one of these Axis tanks over the mine, that would be decent for Ted. Got the LMG on the assault greens, it looks like. And out of there with the 88. Double. Oh, in fact, triple Sherman rolling down here. Good attack from Thomas. What do you need? 88 coming back down, but in the meantime, the Pack 38 D crews, and they're getting the cap off. Gonna kill that off completely. Eighty-eight sits up down here again. And another Panzer three coming in. Pretty strong hold down here for Thomas Smooth. He's pretty much equalized the population of OO. He's coming down here with the Walking Stuka. Tiny bit of damage from it though, not that impressive. Oh, here we go. Chaffees get a Panzer IV very low. Smoke though. Bailing it out. Just surviving. Can't play them. Die bombing as well. The para just died of that. You see it in this capture circle. Jam the decap. Oh, zeroing artillery. Eighty-eight's here. He pushed it up a tiny bit. Air screens go down just before they neutralize. Truck comes in to finish the job, though. Eyes are back on the drain. Just out of range of the 88 back there. The enemy has taken a victory point. So the walking stuka on the AT does get the decrew on it. Okay, he's got two Panthers now, Bevo, and he's rolling through the middle. Got the AT gun, okay, he gets back on it. Still gonna struggle though, all these Chaffees to pin. Decruise it. Kitten, on almost zero health, gets the cap off. He's rolling through the middle here. Sherman tank's a little bit too low. Looks like the uh, allies are gonna throw in the towel there. Polish everything off. Have Why not? He's earned it. That's where bulldozer now. Thanks for the ride. Our force on the brink of defeat. Ten points remaining. Victory for 
All right. Well, there we go. Axis ended up taking it. Pretty close game. I was a little bit surprised how early the walking stuke came in from OO. I thought maybe they'll put him at risk of getting overwhelmed by mass 76 mil Sherman pressure, but it didn't really happen that way. A bit more of just a regular tug of war. Pretty good support play from the Axis, considering I'm pretty sure they are a random team. Some nice rotations from Bebo top that bailed OO out uh, a couple times. So that was good. But yeah, that kind of push around the 88 that the Allies did started out strong, but once the 88 got recruited, then it just started slaughtering Sherman after Sherman after Sherman going down. Went pear shaped for the Allies massively towards the end there. That's where the Axis were able to take the win. But you know, nice to see some 76 mil Sherman action, mechanized, you know. Barely ever see that these days. Yeah, they were okay, you know, the phosphorus is pretty handy. But not incredible. As I said, I think the bulldozer, with how strong it is, this patch. This bulldozer Hellcat seems to be a much better composition in most situations. Well, anyway guys, wrap on that. If you like your game be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling instalment. Goodbye and good luck.